Hi, everybody. All right, so we're fresh off of dealing with the ring gear fix, which uh, really sucked. But, you know, that was a total of 60 bucks. Now, I should follow up with saying that uh, not only was the ring gear damaged, but the teeth on the gear of the starter were damaged. And that was a brand new starter. So I contacted Skytech, and they were really cool about it. And they're like, oh, yeah, 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 the kitback protection system failed, and it's a brand new starter. Send us the starter. We'll repair it and send it back to you. So that's what, uh, that is what we is doing. So thank you, Skytech. In this video, we're going to finish up um, doing the snorkel. Or I should say, I'm sorry, not doing the snorkel. The snorkel has been, or the two pieces of the snorkel have been epoxied together, with uh, which we did many videos ago. In this video, we're actually working on cutting the hole for the alternate air. That's what we're working on. Uh, I got a couple of private questions about the guitar that you saw in the last video, which you now see on the right. Uh, I got a, uh, a sweet deal. That is a, that is a 1975 Gibson 175D arc top or arch top uh, jazz guitar. There had been some headstock damage and it had been sitting in this nice uh, man's closet for 20 years so I bought it from him and simply repaired the headstock and um, yeah there I am uh, making it work so okay so the alternate air is very simple once you've got the once you got the snorkels fit up you cut a hole in the out outer side of it um, we'll, there's a metal flange that will be sort of sticking in place and leveling out, and then you will put a bunch of floxed up epoxy to hold that in place. A metal lid sits on top of that flange, and then a Bowden cable actuates it back from the uh, panel, and that is your alternate air intake, more or less. which you'll be seeing here in just uh, more of it in a second. Uh, so good news, bad news, quick update. Uh, good news, I'm on vacation for the next 10 days. And there will be videos playing. I am pre-recording them all now. Uh, the bad news is because of that, I will not be working on the plane for at least the next 10 days. And so the inspection is now being pushed out until probably the third week of July, which is fine. I, look, I... As the DAR reminds me, the one I'm working with, he's, you know, you want this to be safe and you want to do it right. And he's right. Also, you may have noticed the TV leaning up against the wall that I was uh, standing in front of getting the directions. So I bought that TV from my wife's last company a few years ago. They were selling a whole ton of equipment. They were selling these 55-inch pre-smart TVs for like 50 bucks and I was like oh, I'll take three so we bought those and I said you know what? why don't I actually use one of these damn things so I bought a stand off of uh, eBay I put that 50 pound block of steel that we'd previously been using to hold the nose down uh, on the feet as a nice uh, weight because you know a, a 55 inch flat screen TV is basically a giant sail and so when the wind would come up, it would just try to fall over, and I'm like, nah, that ain't going to work. But now with the steel weight on the bottom, it's all good. All right, my buddy Paul is over, and I never bothered actually swinging the camera around to where the work on the snorkel was actually happening, because I'm an idiot. So, yeah, I think we'll just end this one here. Uh, we got nothing else. Uh, in the next video, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep working on this. Uh, and I'm about to record it now, so that's going to be great. Oh, it is a snorkel. Sweet. All right. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Have a good weekend. I'm going to be in uh, Canada, Canadying it up. So, Which reminds me, today's July 1st. Happy Canada Day. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.